Hello friends, today I will discuss about basic characteristics of uh, Siemens uh, Ciprotec 7UT61 differential relay. How to see uh, the differential current in the HMI of the relay and uh, from the uh, differential current and restraining current, how the differential and restraining current characteristics come. To see the uh, current in the primary side and secondary side uh, or pri HB side and LV side of the transformer, we have to first go to the measurement in the menu, then we have to press the right arrow, then we can uh, get the value of the operation primary. If, uh, if you press the operation primary, then we get the value of the current in primary quantity. Here IL1, IL2 and IL3, M1 is the HV side current. All are 24 ampere and B, B phase is 23 ampere. 3I0 is the zero sequence current uh, and I1, M1 is the positive sequence current. I2 is the negative sequence current and I L1, M2 is the LV side current which is 94 ampere. I L2, M2 is the Y phase current of LV side that is 98 ampere and I L3, M2 is the B phase uh, of LV side current which is 96 ampere and 3I0 is the zero sequence current, I1, M2 is the positive sequence current in the LV side and uh, now uh, we want to see uh, the differential current and restraining current. To see the differential current and uh, restraining current we have to press the uh, left arrow button uh, then we have to press uh, down arrow button as shown then come to I side primary then come to pri operation secondary then come to angles and then come to percent and next I side I by INS and then we have to uh, press user defined and then uh, again uh, energy then press again the down arrow set point MB and then again uh, down arrow that is come to reset then again press the down arrow button which I which will get I differential and I set here we have to press the right arrow button if you press the right arrow button it will show the differential current in phase wise I differential L1 mean for red phase I differential current is 0 per unit I differential L2 that is mean for uh, yellow phase uh, differential current it is again 0 per unit and I differential L3 it is for blue phase differential current which is 0 0.01 per unit and I restraining L1 is bias current for red phase is 0.35 per unit for uh, yellow phase it is I restraining L2 is 0 0.36 uh, per unit and for blue phase uh, I restraining uh, L3 which is 0 0.35 per unit now uh, we will calculate how this uh, per unit quantities of restraining and differential current for Siemens relay comes the characteristics uh, for uh, Siemens relay is almost same for MICOM P64X uh, that is uh, shown in this diagram. Here again uh, there are four settings. First setting is initial setting that is IS1 uh, and uh, then initial slope that is K1 and next uh, the boundary of the initial slope that is IS2 and then again uh, the uh, higher slope that is K2. But in this uh, relay, here differential current is uh, vector sum of uh, I1 plus I2, where I1 and I2 are the uh, percentage uh, value of the um, primary and secondary current. Uh, percentage means it is the percentage of the full load current. But I bias is current is the scalar sum of the uh, two current, uh, of the percentage of two current, that is. Uh, uh, I1 plus I2 in per unit quantity instead of average uh, sum of the two current. This is the basic difference from the Siemens relay and any other relay. Now for rate phase uh, the quantity I1 uh, equal to 24 ampere 
and I2 equal to 94 ampere that is primary current or HB side current HB side primary current is 24 ampere and LV side primary current is 94 ampere here the uh, rating of the transformer is 31.5 MBA and for 31.5 MBA in the 132K side full load current is 137.78 ampere and LV side full load current is 551 ampere uh, therefore uh, the I1 that is per unit quantity or percentage of full load current comes to as 24 divided by HV full load current that is 137.78 which is comes to 0 0.74 0 0.174 per unit in the uh, LV side I2 uh, comes to as um, the LV side current divided by HV LV side full load current which is equal to 94 divided by 551 ampere that is comes to 0 0.171 per unit now uh, since I1 is equal to 0 0.174 per unit and I2 is equal to 0 0.171 per unit, uh, the I D function current, which is the vector sum of the two current and due to the phase shift, uh, the I1 and I2 uh, comes to almost equal to 0 0.003 per unit. Uh, that is, uh, I1 is equal to uh, I1 at an angle 0 degree and I2 is equal to I2 at an angle 180 degree. The vector sum of the two current is uh, nothing but uh, the subtract subtraction from one to another, which uh, which gives the result of the I differential current in per unit quantity, which comes as 0 0.003 per unit. I bias current is 0 0.345 per unit. That is the scalar sum of the two quantities. Here uh, the I differential current is uh, 0 per unit and I bias comes to as 0 0.34 uh, per unit which is uh, same as uh, calculated. This is the basic principle of the Siemens uh, relay, differential, Siemens differential relay. If you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.